hello everyone today in this video i will show you how you how to calculate elastic properties for random alloys as a first step you need to have the converge relaxed structure over here i have shown for high entropy alloys and to calculate the elastic constants we will use the technique energy versus strain approach you can visit this website so there are two methods energy versus strain and stress versus strain approach uh, the stress versus strain approach is implemented in wasp and this, uh, this is the corresponding paper by page and you can view the paper and the corresponding deformation matrix for large supercell it is best to use this technique if we don't have the computational power so for small cell we can use the first approach um, stress and strain but we will be using this approach for this demonstration so the theory behind is that shown over here stress versus strain matrix this is the stress and this is the strain and this is the constant elastic constant over here this is the strain matrix and the Lagrangian strain which are related to each other by this relation and the energy of the crystal is expanded as a Taylor series so we will use up to second order for first order this term is zero if we have the equilibrium crystal structure for second order constant this can be given by this elastic constant shown over here and the corresponding strain vector is shown with Voigt notation. And this is the full elastic constant matrix. And for cubic, this matrix reduces to these terms, which is the compression, the shear, and these are the mixed, which are zero. Now, for high entropy law, it's not necessary these are zero because of the lattice distortion terms. In that case, we have to take the average values. But for simple, for this demonstration, I will choose for one configuration only. So you can go ahead and and the scripts should be in your path. These are available in this code over here. So these are the corresponding deformation what we want to have for bulk modulus or the shear case. So these are the deformation matrix shown over here. We are assuming our structure is BCC cubic structure. So for this deformation, we can obtain the bulk modulus, this C11 constant, and the shear by this deformation 017. So and these are the corresponding details you can read. So as a first case. So let's start with setup and I will name the directory 0. The maximum Lagrangian strain we will use 0 0.01 and the maximum number of strain values are 11. Shown over here for volumetric strain we have 0. So we will apply the 0 and it creates the 0 directory. Let's go into this directory. It creates the input file. Remember, this code is for exciting code. We, if you are using exciting or wasp, you need to convert these values to the corresponding. In my case, I have I am using wasp. I will convert this value. So let's go ahead. Now it's creating the directory as well as the corresponding converting the file into postcard now we have the postcard file you can view with the, this code and you will see the volumetric expansion and from this relation we can obtain the bulk modulus this value and if you divide by 9 you will get the bulk modulus similarly now now if we want to obtain the C11 constant, we go back, again apply V11 
for one, we will apply this one again 0 0.01 at the level. Now the deformation is one over here for along the x. So it will create the one directly. Again, we will go back for the shear the shear strain along the one one direction. We have to use the deformation seven. And we will name the directory 7 over here, again 0 0.05. And remember that the deformation in our case 0 0.1 could be large for high entropy, but you have to do by yourself conversion. What is the appropriate value 0 0.03, 0 0.05? This is for only demonstration purposes. Now we get into this folder again. And we create and similarly for seven now if you go to this well for C11 case and view the deformation you see it's elongates only in one direction now for the shear case so it's shown over here so now this Lagrangian strain it's very very you have to be careful with this value how much you want to deform if it's too large you will you will be not in the linear regime you want to be in the linear regime if the deformation is too large you will see it will break the bond now 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 we have these folders you can submit to wasp and obtain the corresponding energy now after running the calculation in each directory we have obtained the energies and the corresponding strain so first you need to create the file energy versus strain and energy versus volume you can write your own script and deduce these values now after having these values we can go ahead and run the the script to extract the elastic constants now for bulk case we have this one we run this script as shown over here now for this case I have used the strain value of 0 0.1 to demonstrate that what it has impact on the second order derivative so we can go ahead and second order and we have got the elastic constants shown over here corresponding to the polynomial of second third fourth fifth sixth seventh order fitting and you can see this script also generate the plot shown over here so for second order polynomial fitting the second order is very large but for fourth and sixth order we see that they starts to converge so we can assume this is the reliable converged value and it is also shown over here so the converge value for a second from the point of view of the fit so Based on this one, our values are almost converged. Now we can go ahead and do the same similar analysis for other case. Again, 0 0.1 strain value, second order. So this is one is for the C11 case. And you can see for large there is a large deviation but the scale is 0 0.01 almost converge and for the shear case again I'm using the large value for zero for shear 0 0.1 and for this shear case the behavior is totally different now second order fourth order and see it starts to converge maybe for smaller values we will see that it might converge rapidly
but you have to do the testing on your system now to reduce the shear value you can go down the page so over here this this value is given by 3 c44 so when you want to deduce this value one one two three and you will get c44 value over here similarly for bulk modulus we got this value you divide it by now you will get the bulk modulus and from this analysis from volumetry you can obtain the lightest parameter but i have to warn you for high entropy alloys these constants are not perfect cubic they are distorted so we have to calculate the whole constant elastic matrix so that's it for this tutorial thank you